This is BBC One, now a specially extended edition of Spotlight Eclipse 99, presented live from Falmouth by Teresa Driscoll and Russell Labby. Good evening and welcome to a specially extended spotlight to mark a day which none of us will ever forget. It was a tense build-up to this once-in-a-lifetime experience. Would the visitors come? Would the weather clear enough to see today's eclipse? Well, in the end, they came in their thousands. And while the clouds only cleared for some, in Alderney, the Isles of Scilly and Torbay, it was totality which amazed us all. Well, tonight's spotlight comes from across the region, capturing all the pictures and the reactions. John Maguire is in St Mary's. And here in the Isles of Scilly, the air of cautious optimism was rewarded by a great view of the eclipse. We received that window in the clouds that enabled us to see totality for around two minutes. On Samson, where we were with bird watchers, there was a fantastic view of firstly the partial, then the total eclipse and the diamond ring. Now over to Simon Hall in Alderney. Yes, here in Alderney, the weather flirted with us until the very last moment. We were never really sure we were going to see the eclipse, but see it we did, along with 250 astronomers, hundreds of their family and friends, and it was extraordinary and it was beautiful. Now over to Samantha Smith on Plymouth Hoe. And here on Plymouth's famous Hoe, another historic event as 50,000 people are plunged into darkness. Now to Justin Lee at Exeter's Traffic Control Centre. Well, as the mass exodus continues tonight with some 6,000 vehicles an hour leaving the southwest, we'll have the latest on the traffic situation right across the region and that mad rush home. That's later in the programme. It was a strange and memorable experience, wasn't it? For a few moments, almost everyone on the central line of totality and thousands living near it stood and watched as the day became night in seconds. Here's our eclipse correspondent, Julia Pete. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wow, my goodness, what a day! <laughs> I know, and everyone will have their memories of it. Mine, I must say, I will always be thankful to you, Craig, because he stood here, we, totality had happened, and he had his brolly and he was pointing right at the right place. He said, <laughs> we're going to see it, we're going to see it. And sure enough, eventually we did, just for 20 or 30 seconds, but seeing it, Made me want to see it more. Yes, it did. We're going to go to the next one. We're going to have to travel. I want to see that shadow. It was a fabulous day. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope too. you enjoyed it. Bye bye. Yeah, bye, -bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs> This is BBC One Southwest. Hello, good evening. Hundreds of thousands of people gathered across the Southwest to witness today's total eclipse of the sun. For a few moments, almost everyone on the central line of totality stood and watched as day became night in seconds. Our eclipse correspondent Julia Peach reports. Oh my God! 11 minutes past 11, August the 11th, the first total eclipse over the British mainland for 72 years. Justin, thanks very much. Tomorrow's weather forecast now, a few bright or sunny spells, but often cloudy with the risk, too, of scattered showers. Maximum temperatures near 21 degrees Celsius, 70 Fahrenheit, with winds mainly light and southerly.
Well, that's it from the Late Team. We're back with you at half past six tomorrow on a day that the South West may never forget. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.